subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The phrase blood of Christ is used several times in the New Testament and is the expression of the sacrificial death and full atoning work of Jesus on our behalf. References to the Savior's blood include the reality that he literally bled on the cross, but more significantly that he bled and died for sinners. The blood of Christ has the power to atone for an infinite number of sins committed by an infinite number of people throughout the ages, and all his faith rests in that blood will be saved. The reality of the blood of Christ as the means of atonement for sin has its origin in the Mosaic Law. Once a year, the priest was to make an offering of the blood of animals on the altar of the temple for the sins of the people. In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. But this was a blood offering that was limited in its effectiveness, which is why it had to be offered again and again. This was a foreshadowing of the once-for-all sacrifice, which Jesus offered on the cross. Once that sacrifice was made, there was no longer a need for the blood of bulls and goats. The blood of Christ is the basis of the new covenant. On the night before he went to the cross, Jesus offered the cup of wine to his disciples and said, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. The pouring of the wine in the cup symbolized the blood of Christ, which would be poured out for all who would ever believe in him. When he shed his blood on the cross, he did away with the old covenant requirement for the continual sacrifices of animals. Their blood was not sufficient to cover the sins of the people, except on a temporary basis, because sin against a holy and infinite God requires a holy and infinite sacrifice. But those sacrifices are an annual reminder of sins, because it is impossible for the blood of bulls and ghosts to take away sins. Well, the blood of bulls and goats were a reminder of sin, the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect, paid in full the debt of sin we owe to God, and we need no further sacrifices for sin. Jesus said, it is finished, as he was dying, and he meant just that, the entire work of redemption was completed forever, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Not only does the blood of Christ redeem believers from sin and eternal punishment, but his blood will make our consciences pure from useless acts, so we may serve the living God. This means that not only are we now free from having to offer sacrifices, which are useless to obtain salvation, but we are free from having to rely on worthless and unproductive works of the flesh to please God. Because the blood of Christ has redeemed us, we are now new creations in Christ, and by his blood, we are freed from sin, to serve the living God, to glorify him, and to enjoy him forever. What is its power and importance? His blood redeems us. There was a price against us that we could not pay, but the blood of Jesus redeemed us. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 18 to 19 says, for as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation received by tradition from your fathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. His blood brings us into fellowship with God, according to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off, are made nigh by the blood of Christ. His blood makes peace with God. Man, by nature, is at war with God, and we can only come to God on his peace terms, the blood atonement. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 1, verse 20, And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself. By him, I say, whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. His blood cleanses. Not only does it remove the punishment of sin, it removes the pollution. I don't care what sin you've committed, the Bible says in 1 John, chapter 1, verse 7. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ his Son cleanseth us from all sin. His blood gives power over the devil. It's the blood that Satan fears. In the book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 11 says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. The devil doesn't want you to learn about the blood. He hates it. 
Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for it. For if the blood of bulls and of goats, and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean, sanctifieth to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God. Please rate the video, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell icon for future videos. The video is free to use on your channel without giving me any credit. God bless you all.